And welcome back again to the second part of how to draw Eddie Quiz from the Howling. My apologies for the last time. I was aware that the bright light was blinding out the entire tutorial where you couldn't see it, but this time I want to make sure that doesn't happen. And so just to give you an idea of where we are, this is what the drawing looks like uh, to up to this point. He's basically walking down a road toward the viewer, and that's the angle I'm, I, met, I intended to capture. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue drawing in the muscles, the tendons, and whatnot to make this uh, character come to life. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna adjust this some camera here. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, draw in. I'm going to go ahead and focus on his arms, beginning with his um, biceps. Okay, and once again, uh, Quist is not... That big of a guy we're not drawing the hulk here we're not drawing conan okay just the average size person okay drawing the make the brachio brachio muscle um, conspicuous there as well as his tricep okay we're gonna go ahead and make his shoulder just a little bit more protruding i'm gonna break this brachialis muscle down here to where the forearm is then we're gonna go focus on the elbow I'm gonna make this elbow right here. I'll go ahead and draw this, this one pretty dark. There we go. Okay, this elbow joint. There we go. Okay. And one thing about the outer side of the forearm is that it's a lot higher than the inner. So there we go. Okay. Great. I'm gonna draw in the in the rest of the forearm, the inner forearm. There we go. Okay, we're going to have that hand curved inward toward the waist. There we go. Right, we're going to clean this up a little bit. And I want to make sure that this is all dark for you to see. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go focus on his left arm and pretty much do the same thing there. And we're going to go ahead and etch in his bicep, which is about right here. And his brachial muscle, which extends all the way down here to the forearm, becoming the brachial radialis muscle. And lastly, the tricep. Okay, there we go. Make this shoulder more protruding. Even though I did intend for him to be that well built, you know, it's happening as we speak. So it's one of those things that just happen naturally in drawing. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and make that left elbow more conspicuous. Come down here, finish off this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and focus on that outer forearm, like that, come out to here, there we go, and that inner forearm right here, and that hand is of course curved inward. Let's go clean this up a little bit, okay, great, all right. Make sure those wrist joints are um, visible as well. There we go. Make the hand a little bit bigger. Now we're going to go focus on the legs. Okay, I'm going to go bring this up a little higher so you could see it in its entirety. We're going to go focus on the hip here, and since his hand is in front of his leg, um, we're not going to let that be a nuisance. We'll just go ahead and race. Whatever leg line went through his fist, no big deal. Then we're going to go ahead and um, bring down this muscle. It kind of goes in here. It's kind of like curved to the side of the, of the knee. Okay. And this one is a little lower. I'm going to go ahead and thin this down a little bit. Here we go. Clean this up. Clean this up. Okay. I'm so used to drawing those larger male figures. Okay. Make this a little lower. There we go. Everybody go focus on 
the gastrocnemius muscles, which are known as the calves. Go. I'm going to go focus on that foot, make that more pronounced. I'm sure you guys are seeing this. There we go. All right. Let's see what it looks like up to this point. Oops. There we go. He's walking. All right, exactly what I want him to do is walk. <laughs> okay, so let me make sure that you guys are seeing this. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna focus on the other, other leg, his, his left leg. Okay, pretty much do the same thing. here okay and the other thing we got to keep in mind is that it's hidden behind the other leg because he's walking So I make these um, knees a little bit more profound. Not that it matters because it will be erased. But as a guiding point, you know, as a guideline, we'll need him there. Okay, great. All right. So, so I make this a little thinner down here and I clean this up a little bit. There we go. Make this calf a little more. More neater. Okay. These will be the ankle joints. Okay. All right, so this is what we have so far. He's basically walking. All right. Adjust this. Great. Great. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, clean this up a little bit. We don't need these guidelines that are within these circles comprising the limbs. Go ahead and erase those. Okay. Not going to erase all of them, but as I progress on with this drawing, more of them will be disappearing. Okay, go ahead and make his torso a little bit more rounder, um, more um, okay. There we go. I'm gonna go add in those trapezius muscles right here, right here, neck muscles, of course. Okay, approximately this is where we want our head. Okay, so okay. Be the neck, and we're gonna go ahead and um, etch in the the head. Go make this uh, muscle a little bit more profound. There we go. Go ahead, erase these um, guidelines. Okay. So he's basically walking. We're gonna go ahead and draw just a simple circle right here. And I kind of abide by the Loomis method. If you're familiar with um, Andrew Loomis. He was a talented artist and mentor of the great Norman Rockwell. And so when it comes to drawing figures, especially faces and heads, he's the one I studied, and he's the one that I, I emulate. There we go. Great. There we go. 
I'm drawing from an angle here, so it's pretty challenging. Just bear with me. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get the draw jawline. That chin will be right here. There we go. And based on my recollection, the character has a narrow looking chin. So I got to keep that in mind, not give him a big chin because that wouldn't coincide with the character at all. Okay. Okay, we got the head here. Okay, let's go, uh, just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and etch in those ears. And when you draw an ear, you basically draw like a question mark type of shape, kind of like that. Like that. Okay. And then in, 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 um, in Eddie Quist's case, these ears are just basically guidelines. They'll eventually be erased because he has long hair that will cover him up. So I'm not too, I'm not too worried about the ears. Then we're gonna go ahead and etch in the eyes. We gotta give him a since he is a villain, we gotta give him a sinister look, an intimidating look, that is. So I draw in those eyes. Can't really get too detailed with the face because this character is not really up that close to the viewer. Okay, it's not that's not really a portrait drawing, is what I'm getting at. Okay, so we don't have to really worry about applying a lot of detail to his face, especially his eyes. There we go. Okay. Gotta draw that nose. Draw it a little lower, sorry about that. I draw this. You know, Robert Ricardo, he has a wide looking nose, I remember. There we go. I'm going to draw, make this a little less profound. Then we're going to draw in the mouth. We're not going to give him a smile. We're not going to give him a grin. We're not going to give him barely any expression. Mainly like a little bit of a sinister expression because he's basically up to no good. Let's go ahead and draw on those cheekbones. I'm sorry about that. I meant to do that from the beginning. There we go. Only time when he's smiling is when he's ready to kill someone. I noticed. <laughs> okay, and as I said, uh, from my recollection, because I have no reference pictures here, Picardo has a uh, narrow chin, and so I kind of want to keep that those features consistent with this drawing, so that when people look at, it, they'll know who the character is. All right, looks like we're making good headway here. What, what does it look like so far? Let's go find out. All right. Okay. Looks like we're getting there. It's all good. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on with this um, tutorial. We're going to make his um, shoulders a little bit more attached to his um, upper extremity. Here we go. There we go. We could really enjoy this character, especially we could draw. I could. I, I'm thinking about just drawing him, um, changing into the werewolf. So I'm thinking about doing. So this kind of this uh, this.